Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Jorge Barosa. He made his major league debut last week at a big week at the plate in Reno as well. But Jorge, everybody's just anxious to know how it felt to get called up. It's a dream, man. A dream. Um, it's something which you've been fighting and you've been like waiting for. So I feel it was a special moment, man. Did you think back to being in Venezuela, being a teenager, signing with the Diamondbacks almost a decade later, you're making your debut? Um, it's crazy. I mean, um, I wasn't expecting that, but like in that moment, probably I wasn't. I wasn't thinking about that, but it's just, it's just, it's amazing. I, I can't explain, man. Like it's crazy. What's the first thing you did? So you get the call. You go into the big leagues. What's the first thing you did? Um, I was with my wife, and we just pray, man. We just, um, how do you say, like. We went to our knees, like we was on our knees, like taking, taking, like say thank you to God, man. Like that's that's what I've been, we, we was been doing. And yeah. then you called mom back in Venezuela, yeah. told mom. Yeah, and then I called my mom, and she was excited too. Like she was almost crying too. And it also like that's a dream for which my dad had before, you know. And I feel like grateful for for that. I was say thanks to my dad too because he was he was part of that, you know. First, I think it was your first at bat, ground rule double. I know it was your yeah. first game. Yeah, Take me, first yeah, at first at bat. Take me through the ground rule double. Well, uh, seven inning, I was excited. I mean, for sure, I was a little nervous. And they say, hey, you're going to hit in the second and in the next inning. And I was like, wow. I practiced in the cage a little bit. And I was like, all right. I mean, for sure, I was nervous in that moment. But the time when I stepped on the, in that box, man, it was like, that's what I've been doing all my life, so I'm, I'm waiting for it. And mine was like clear in that moment. I, I wasn't thinking too much, and like just happens, man. I remember you told me last year. I was like, when did you fall in love with baseball? You're like, I've always loved baseball. Yeah. So do you think back to that little kid who just loved baseball, and now you're playing in the big leagues? I mean, do, do those thoughts go through your head? Um, I would say like sometimes when I go before the game, probably like. I'm grateful and like thank God, but and then like I realize I'm here, like I'm there in the field for sure. And like, I was thinking like playing Puerto Cabello, like where I come from, and it's like wow, is it just a big change for sure? I that, that come through my head, but like in that moment, man, I just say thanks God, thanks for the people which helped me to be here, and like yeah, it was just a crazy experience, man. We're blessed to know you. Reno fans are blessed to know you. But people who don't know you, D-backs fans who are still learning about you, what do you want them to know about Jorge Barroso, the person? Uh, I'm a good guy, I guess. <laughs> um, it's nothing crazy about me. It's just I'm a, I would say I'm a great person. And, like, I want to be able to, like, people know me, which, like, who I am and not, like, a player, you know, like, the person who I am and like more more about that, no, not just a player, you know what I mean? So yeah, like I would say um good guy, funny guy, he always like try to pick it up his teammates. Um, I'm a team guy and I always like to win. Yeah. How do you think you've grown? I remember day one in Reno last year. You've grown so much since then. How do you feel like you've grown on and off the field? I would say big part is about my teammates, man. Teammates help you a lot. Like even here, we're around a lot of like better, better players. So it's like, yeah, you learn a lot from those guys, and like you pick it up, like all the stuff what you think is gonna work for you. So it's like if you hear something, for example, right now Albert Amora. So I've been learning a lot from him. Like, like you know, like there, there are some guys which. They play a lot of baseball, man, and you learn small things about everybody, and you just try to put together, man. Like that's even last year, I remember Phil Evans, Diego. Like you learn a lot from those guys, man. Ali Sanchez, I mean, man, it's just crazy how 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 those guys can help you to to grow up, you know. What was that feeling? Did you have any feeling of like hunger? So you get to your first at bat, your first game. Are you thinking like, I never want to leave. I never want to leave the big leagues. You have that feeling in your belly still. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like that's that's not the goal, you know. Like the goal is not just 
be there. You just want to stay there and you're going to play for a long time. So, yeah, I, I still got that in my mind for sure. Jorge Barosa, thank you, Jorge. Jorge, you're the man. Thank you, man.